This is E. Wilson, the conversator from the JTC Exchange Radio Show. And we're coming to you live from the first Sunday's Talent Showcase, March the 3rd, 2013. We are back. Excited about it. Listen, the place is packed. And I got a witness right here that can attest to that, but we're excited about it. But I have my man, Mr. Michael David Lynch, uh, owner of International Limos, Limousines. Limousines of London. Of London. So now, Mike, tell the people where you're from, and, 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 and then we're going to talk about this first Sunday's talent showcase here. Well, basically, I'm out of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. I've uh, been in the industry for about 25 years. And we have party buses. We have limos. I mean, we cater to all type of people. So, 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 with that, when you when you're saying the party buses, what what is actually on the party buses? Because some people uh, will hear that, but they may have never seen a party bus. So, tell them how it is at the International Limousine of London. Did I say that right? I'm yes, right. You, you got it right. You got it right. Well, basically. Uh, most people take a party bus and it's used like an old church bus or something like that. But I have a 40-foot motor coach that's been transferred into like a, a Saturday Night Fever disco club. You got your 42-inch flat screen. You got your party lights, your smoke machine, your wet bar area, uh, uh, your standing room. Uh, you have your VIP section in it. And we do from going to casinos to uh, uh, horse, horse races, uh, uh, birthday parties, weddings, uh, uh, family unions, whatever the case may be. Wow. Yeah. Now, now, how long have you been doing it? I should say how short, but how long? That's a joke, Dave. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, God has blessed me to be in the industry since 1976. So that's almost about 30 years. Okay? And God has blessed me to meet all type of people. From middle class, high class, to I'm not going to say low class, just regular class people. From ministers to NBA stars to NFL stars. You know, and it's been a beautiful thing. It's been a beautiful, it's a ministry. That's where me and my wife has ran this business as a ministry. So, so now what do you say? Well, first of all, let's just, if we could name a few, because I'm sure you got a list of some of the people. Let's name a few NBA stars and then let's name a few preachers that you have been able to render service to. Well, you know, ironically that you said that, and I, I'm going to go with some old school stars. For example, Michael Jordan. When he first came to the NBA back in 1986, 89, I'm sorry, he was a rookie, and he was came to Dallas and played with the uh, Chicago Bulls and came to play the Mavericks. And I was working for a company, and I took him out in the limousine. And he was just regular people, you know. And then as time went on, moving to the NFL stars, I've had stars like Deion Sanders, Michael Irvin, Emmitt Smith, uh, 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 who else was that? Uh, 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 Jerry Jones, I've had him in the limousine before. Just all type of people. It's a list of people that I just start rattling off about the amount of people I've had. So. It's been a very rewarding experience meeting those people. So now let's just switch it. We're going to make this one short now. To the preachers, uh, name three that you've taken out. Now, you already told, said two of my favorites, so I'm going to make That's going to be real easy for you, Michael. But go ahead, name three if you could. Well, Eddie Long, I've had him. Bishop T.D. Jakes, I've had him. And Noel Jones. And I'm going to add one more, Creflo Dollar Jr. Yeah. So, um, Creflo Dollar Jr., I've had him. That's been several years ago. That's when I, when Bishop first opened up the new church, we catered to Creflo when he came to visit the church for the first time. And I did Bishop's daughter and, and, and the 16th birthday. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, let me ask you this, and then we're going to talk about the first Sundays. What do you say to the people out there? Because limousine... Though they look good, you're providing service. Yeah. You're opening doors. You're closing doors. You're checking to make sure that your clients are okay. Tell the people out there the value you get out of serving. Because we know ministry, as those of us who are believers, is not just in the church, but it's supposed to go out to the world. So what fulfillment do you get out of serving, whether it's the high class or the middle class or whatever class of people? Well, when I have somebody call me and say, so-and-so referred you to us, 
that gives me an uh, inner peace that I did good service for that last client when I get a referral from a present and future client. And then it, it's a ministry to me. I've donated my limousine to organizations, to youth organizations, to, to church ministries, and just give, give them the service free. Because in God's word, anytime you bless a man or woman of God, you're going to get a blessing in return. So me and my wife has always ran our limousine business as a ministry. You know, now we do have overhead, but we feel that if we give as a ministry, God's going to take care of the overhead. And so he's done that. And that's why when 9-11 happened, a lot of people in the industry went out of business. Well, God established me to reposition myself so we're still in business, okay? So what that tells me, I must be doing something right. And he's the head. He's the business owner. I'm just the manager of the business, okay? I'm just the manager. <laughs> Y'all, listen, there it is right there. If you wanted to know the secret, the he just gave it to you. So now, Mike, with that being said, before we have them give you your information, you're at the first Sunday's Talent Showcase, the first one you've been to. We haven't even got it started yet, but just talk about your expectation and just the atmosphere here. Well, the atmosphere is just phenomenal. My expectations are so high, I'm about to blow up. I mean, uh, this is the first time I've came. One of my members uh, invited me to come. I bought a ticket and came, and it's just awesome. And, and, and I look forward to coming back again. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my limousine with me, enough, but next time I'm coming and bring my limousine. But no, it's, it's phenomenal, and I encourage anyone that hears about it or somebody tell you about it, please come because it will be a blessing to you. Y'all heard it right here uh, at the first Sunday's Town Showcase. Now, before we got you go, Mike, give them your information and how they can get a hold of you so we can start sending some business your way. Well, thank you for that, sir. Uh, International Limousines of London. Uh, contact information number is going to be 214-538-0902. But, but listen, you heard it right here. So, Michael, I appreciate you coming on the JTC Exchange Radio Show and sharing with us your experience, brother. Well, I appreciate the opportunity. It's my pleasure, and you will see me again. Y'all have <laughs> you a will hear from me again. <laughs> Y'all see me on the news in a limousine. You already know the company it is yes. uh, International Limousines of London. So, this is E. Wilson, the conversator, uh, with my man Michael right here at the first Sunday's Talent Showcase. Remember, if you want more information on the JTC Exchange, you need to go to www.jtc, the letter X, change.org. You can get us on Twitter, E. Wilson, at INC. JTC, or you can go on our YouTube channel, E. Wilson slash JTC Exchange channel. We're on the move, coming to a theater near you. This is E. Wilson, the conversator. We're out. All right.